Hi guys, this is Rocky and in this video I'm going to share with you few ways to free up hard disk space in Windows 8. So let's get started. So the first way would be to access the charms menu bar and clear out the Windows search history. To do that simply hover over in the bottom right hand corner of the screen so that you get to see the charms menu bar. Click on settings, click on change PC settings option here and here in the PC settings in the left menu bar click on the search if you don't have it highlighted and the search history simply click on delete history done so that's one way uh, to get out of the screen simply hover in the top left hand corner of the screen and wait for the tile to appear and click on it and just to make a note of this uh, we have about 243 gigabytes of free space Alright, so uh, the next would be to change the power options. Uh, you can do that by uh, accessing the control panel. Simply click on, double right click on the My Computer, click on Properties, click on the control panel, and in here, enter power, okay, and click on the power options. And here it's going to show you whatever uh, plan you're using and click on the change plan settings option or the link against your current plan and you can see the next screen the next screen scroll down to the bottom until you see change advanced power settings alright and this one simply scroll down until you see this sleep option here right here uh, just simply click on it click on hibernate after okay and in here if you click on this 118 minutes you're gonna see this uh, select drop down list and just simply remove that and enter never all right and click on enter and that's gonna be saved just to make sure that it changed visit that option again okay it didn't change so I'm gonna do this again uh, I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna do it manually alright it's never click on apply click on okay now just to make sure let's visit it again click on sleep I put it after okay so it's never so just to uh, as a warning just make sure that you do not do this uh, you you may skip this step if you wish to uh, because if you do not have this hibernate on uh, whenever you re try to uh, put your laptop to sleep or computer to sleep if hibernation is not enabled you will risk losing all the data that you have been uh, probably uh, working on say like you have some of your system files open or you're working on some programs like web designing or something and you have your software open if you have not saved any files if you have not enabled hibernation the system's going to shut down after a while so just make sure that you do not use this until unless you're really really critically low on the space in your hard disk okay you so you can uh, safely skip this step if this concerns you or if you really need hibernation all right so uh, let's move on to the next one um, the next one would be to clear out the recycle bin at regular intervals to do this simply right click on the recycle bin and empty the recycle bin okay uh, this is going to take care of uh, the f some of some of the f free, uh, space and and free a bit if you really want to uh, dig a bit deeper into this option simply right click on the recycle bin click on properties and here uh, it shows you the custom size that it's using to uh, be able to uh, store the files temporarily when you delete it so when you delete the files of your system it's not going to be directly deleted but rather those files would be sent to the recycle bin so here you can just enter about 200 megabytes uh, if you need to uh, just to save some space right now I have a lot of uh, space available on my drives I've got 242 gigabytes and 145, 185 gigabytes so I'm well off but if you really need to just enter whatever 
um, uh, amount you need like 200 MB or 500 MB and just click on apply and click on OK. So that's how you can uh, free up uh, space because it's right now using from my hard drive. So, so that's how you can do it. That's one of the ways. And the next one would be to clear out the Windows Store option. So to access this, click on Windows button and the R so that it shows you the command prompt for run and enter WS reset. It's going to reset the Windows uh, Store uh, reset. Okay. As you can see, the cache for Windows uh, Store was cleared. All right, so that's taken care of. And the next one would be, this would be interesting guys, so just play, uh, uh, pay close attention to this. Uh, the next one would be to clear out the shadow point space. Uh, what I mean by that is, let me show you. Right click on the my computer, click on properties, click on system protection. And once you're in the system protection tab, click on configure okay now this is the max usage now here uh, I have enabled about approximately approximately 20 gigabytes of uh, space on my hard drive so you can reduce it down to uh, whatever you feel like whatever uh, maybe one gigabyte or two gigabytes or whatever space it allows the least possible uh, space that I can allot it to it is 1% and that's about 3.23 gigabytes so once you do this click on apply and hit OK so that will uh, save you some more space and here's uh, another one if you really want to uh, free up some more uh, this space simply open up my computer and here right click on the C drive click on properties and here it's going to show you the disk cleanup option. Simply click on that, and this is going to launch a wizard. All right, as you can see, uh, if you click on OK, it's just going to clean up about roughly about 20.96 MB, so which is about 30 MB free space. But <clears throat> there is another way to clean up more disk space than what it really shows here. All right, so simply click on this clean up system files option and the wizard is going to launch one more time and this time it's going to show you or prompt you to clean up shadow copies so in the uh, earlier uh, step I've shown you the system restore points and similar to that shadow copies are made for the system uh, so here it goes click on the more options tab here and here it is system restore and shadow copies so the much system restore you perform the much space is going to take up on your uh, hard drive so if you click on the clean up option here in the second one this is going to uh, delete all restore points except the most recent restore point so I would suggest you do this uh, at least about once a month or at the end of the month, preferably at the end of the month, uh, just to clean up uh, your hard disk space. So if you clean that, it's going to probably give you about a gigabyte of free space. Uh, so we have about 242. Let's take a quick look. It's going to say the prompt. Simply click on delete. Click on <clears throat> okay okay it's in the process so it's not closing but once the process completes okay here it is just take a look at this 248 all right it was 242 previously and now it's 248 so depending upon how much space the shadow copies were uh, consuming on my hard drive it's going to try to uh, remove all those obsolete versions of my shadow copies and restore points and have only the latest uh, restore point intact 
So this will save you somewhere about eight gigabytes or 10 gigabytes, or depending upon however, uh, or whatever number of shadow copies were created. Okay, so that would be one of the options. Uh, we can take a look at this. Once uh, this completes, and the next would be to uh, download a software called C Cleaner. Let me show you. C Cleaner, yes. Here is the software. Okay. To access this software, uh, simply go to ccleaner.com. You can download this software for free. Uh, so, how this software is going to be useful is what I'm going to cover in the rest of the video. Uh, as you can see here, you have different, uh, it, it gives you access to different applications that have been installed on your system. And if you analyze, click on analyze button in, in here, it's going to show you how many uh, megabytes of free space or gigabytes of uh, free space you can get back once you delete the files. So this is one another way to uh, skip Uh, accessing the internet options manually I'm gonna show you what that really means okay uh, right now it says that I can remove about 158.8 megabytes uh, or free that much amount of uh, space uh, and I can hit on the run cleaner button to perform that operation analyze is just going to tell me how much space probably I can receive but it does not get you that space but when you click on the run cleaner option it's going to uh, perform the process and then give you uh, the total amount of uh, speed, uh, free space and the next would be to uninstall whatever programs that you find um, uh, that you do not need and you can just click on whatever program it is and run on installer to remove it from your system just make sure that you have any important files if you have saved on your system just make sure that you bag it up because once you delete the or uninstall the program all the program files will be deleted respect to that to that program so uh, so this was one other way to uh, delete that uh, when you if you do not want to wish uh, if you do not want to do it this way you can simply click on the internet explorer icon and click on this uh, tools icon click on internet options here uh, in the browsing history click on the delete button and check everything and say delete once you click on the delete button uh, it's going to delete the browsing history of internet explorer and it's going to free up some more uh, disk space so those are some of the ways in which you can free up disk space and this process is still going on so I'm gonna just leave it at that uh, so that's it for uh, this video guys I hope uh, this was helpful to you if you enjoyed this video feel free to like it uh, post your comments and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching